Alright guys, so I've been meaning to make this for a while. I have batteries all over my desk, right? I want to start making a lot of things with these batteries. And in order to do that, I have to test the capacity. This is how it's going to work. The batteries are going to be stacked, 10, about 10 of them. And then there's going to be a linear actuator. And it's also going to be a contact. So the two contacts are going to go on the battery. I'm going to have the Arduino time how long the battery is discharging. And then the battery is going to roll down and I'm going to store all the capacity in an array so I know which battery is which. Just imagine how sick this is going to look because like it's going to be like this thing and it's going to be like zzz, zzz, zzz. it's going to be like moving all the batteries down. Here's the problem. I need to convert motors from the rotary 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 to a linear action. I don't have any of that because I'm a little bit broke right now. I do have a few computers. DVD drives actually have linear actuators in them. What do you think guys? This has got one in it? Yes. One, two, Oh my god, there's two! What do we is have? It, is it got a nice DVI port? Holy oh what, what are the my. sizes on those bad boys? 20 gigabytes! Oh Wait, yeah! Is that 200 or 20? No, 20! <laughs> this is what this has all been about right here. Oh time for test number two. <laughs> like just finding functional optical drives. I've never been so excited for optical drives. This like isn't even like a real computer. That's like a normal computer. Yeah. And then that's the freaking <laughs> server. You think you have to plug them both in? I don't know. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Maybe you like, oh, mm -hmm. what is this thing? Okay, so I don't even know if this thing's on. Oh! oh. <sighs> <gasps> this thing's like a freaking jet. Whoa! Oh, spring loaded. There's a scary amount of beeping and flashing <laughs> color. What do I do with this thing? <laughs> I've never taken apart a DVD drive. We're gonna see how this goes. It looks like there's just like clips, maybe. Hold on. This is what I need. This right here. Look, there's pins here, but like, it doesn't look like they're really connect. Actually, maybe I ripped something off. Wait, actually? I swear it moved, dude. That's way too much current. It might be some sort of like, uh, you need to apply like some sort of high frequency because it like clicked for a second. What the fuck? What do you think, Quinn? <laughs> As if I would know, man. That still sounds like a speaker. But didn't I try, yo, I tried doing this and nothing, nothing happened. Uh, stepper motor hack. A hacker watching a video about a hacker. Motor shield. Wait. How to power stepper motor. Yeah, it's probably one of these motors where you need to apply some sort of frequency to make them work. Stepper motors need that a special driver in order to work. You <laughs> cannot connect them. Directly. Well, there it is. Good news, yo. We have four pins here that you can clearly see. Okay, now I see it. There's two coils. Whenever I apply power, there's a tiny little step. What you have to do is obviously you want north to be here and south to be here. So you're gonna have to apply five volts here and zero volts here. So that's what I wrote down, right? Your magnets are here. Now you want it to go here. So step two, you gotta apply five volts to G2 and zero volts to P2. Five volts, zero. Now I'm gonna go to step two. Five volts, five volts at this pin zero to here. It just did a full cycle. I need to make a circuit that goes through these steps in a loop. So I'm going to stay up all night, try and get this thing to move back and forth on my command. Why do I become the most productive at one in the morning? I have no idea. I gotta do some of the code here. I wondered why it wasn't working and then I realized my power supply was off. Let's do a simple loop now. We should see some sort of animation happening here. No, we, we do not. I put the delay before I, there we go. I think I fixed it. Hey. All right, I have no idea if this is gonna work. I don't think it's getting enough power, but let's see what happens. Dude, my circuit did not work. My circuit failed, all right? I tried to understand it. Um, the way I was doing it, right, wasn't quite working. I go back on Afro Tech Mod's video. He did a really, really good explanation of it. Full credits to him because I copied his circuit. <laughs> I had to make it work with kind of like two motors because there's two coils, right? Look at how ridiculous the circuit looks. I have never made a circuit this ridiculous on a breadboard. Look at it, you can't even see the MOSFETs in here, right? 
I am I am mind blown right now. Also, this program, nobody told me how this program was supposed to work, right? I was just thinking logically on like, okay, everything has to go in a circle, right? You can see how it's zero volts, five volts, and then five volts, zero volts. So if you just flip them at step one and step three, and that's exactly what an H bridge does. So what I did, put this end to high and put this end to low. Step three, you just flip what you had in step one. Now I'm gonna apply zero volts here and five volts here. And then I did the same thing with the last step. Let me make this really interesting. Delay of 100 milliseconds. Oh my God. There's probably, there's some scientific ways probably um, to figure out like uh, the boundaries of this, but I'm gonna do a very simple way. I'm pushing it to the end and I'm gonna have my program count the time steps. I'm just literally just gonna look once it reaches the end so I get an approximate result um, for safety. Uh, C equals zero. Upload. Yo, what was that, like 250? Oh, you went a little bit too far. Power supply will be on. And this guy will start going automatically. Oh my god, he's so fast! Oh my god, yo! Delay of one. Shift back. <gasps> Why don't I just make it go back and forth, honestly? In order to go backwards, that's interesting. I have no idea if this backwards is gonna work. I just copied my function in reverse, so. Ready? Oh, no. I'm pretty sure I fixed the small bug and now he should be jumping. This is gonna look crazy. Oh my God. Look at that, it's like a printer. Yo, I made a printer. It's making some really weird noises. Can I push my batteries? Oh yeah. Dude, this thing's got a lot of power. I'm dead, dude, I'm dead. I gotta die. I'm gonna have multiple of these. 